Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krieger, and this is Alpha Bravo. And today we're going to do a couple of reviews of some unique products for the Rise of the Beast movie and do a little short review at the end of the program to let's just give you my thoughts on it. So, first of all, we've got the Optimus Prime popcorn bucket. And as you can see, it's a pretty big truck. So we'll move off out of the way for a second here just so you can see the whole thing here. It is massive. It looks good on the front there. In the back, lots of detail in there, lots of paint stuff. The back is tin, the cab is plastic, all the underside is plastic. It does roll, so that's good. I've had a lot of popcorn buckets that you know didn't were just static things, so that's pretty neat. The top pops up here. And that's where you're supposed to put all your popcorn. Comes with two straws that are you know, slightly thicker, so they should be washable and reusable. And then this top comes off. Now this is either supposed to be a reservoir for drinking, because the there it is open here between the straws and the reservoir area. So, but I think the uh, popular consensus is this is just supposed to be a uh, cup holder. So, anyway, overall it's pretty neat. I like it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the Cinemark did have like a Optimus Prime bust, a light up bust thing, but I like the truck better than the bus. I'm not going to go out and watch the movie twice just to do it. All right, I'll bring in the uh, SS38 here just so you can get an idea of the size of this thing. It's pretty huge. I mean, you can put, pop this up and throw SS38 in there, no problem. So. <laughs> Anyway, that is the Optimus Prime Popcorn Bucket, and this one was at AMC. It did cost, uh, <laughs> it does cost a lot, but you get popcorn and a drink with it as long with this. Pretty cool, with metallic box, Optimus Prime Bucket. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to the next thing. Next up, we're looking at the Optimus Primal Mask. Now, this is kind of neat. It was pretty novel. It's something new they did. A lot of the toy line they did for Rise of the Beast is just, you know, reprints of previous lines. But this was something new and pretty novel. They did an Optimus Primal. They did a Bumblebee. But this is pretty neat. It's a mask, a wearable mask. You know, got straps and everything. And transformable into Optimus Primal. So that's pretty neat. This is definitely a child size mask. And, you know, they're, my chin kind of hangs out a little bit when I wear it. But still pretty neat. There's some brown details at the top there. The Maximal logo there. A little bit, some paint here and there. And it actually looks, you know, pretty neat. And it's kind of a fun gimmick. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. But anyway, let's go ahead and transform it into robot mode and take a look at it. And here is the mask Optimus Primal in his robot mode, and he is pretty big. I mean, this is a really tall bot. I mean, pretty close to the Titan Changers. Uh, just to give you an idea, we've got the uh, G.I. Joe Megatron here. And you see they're pretty close in size, so he's a big boy. Definitely not going to fit on a chug shelf, <laughs> but... It still looks pretty good. Uh, the head is has no articulation besides the transformer joint that just rocks forward. Arms, not a lot. Ball joint there. A little bit of inward there. The wrists do move. And uh, that's about as close as he gets to beating his chest. <laughs> not quite there. Anyway, <laughs> lots of clacky joints. He does have a lot of clacky joints anyway yeah so we're looking for the clacky waist uh ball joint thighs the legs are pretty hollow and lackluster uh ball joints for the feet so you do get an automatic ankle tilt out of them uh these things are probably my biggest complaint about this is that these keep popping off incessantly while you're trying to transform them but other than that it's a pretty fun toy I think if you got this for a kid, they would love it. Just having a mask that they could wear to the movie and have a toy they can play with it if they get bored. So it's it's pretty much perfect for the little kids. So 
yeah, overall, it's a fun gimmick, uh, fun toy, a little bit of a complaint about the feet, but otherwise, yeah, no real complaints. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and talk about the movie. Just a quick review. I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free and pretty general. Overall, I, th I thought the movie was really kind of mid. I mean, it wasn't really super awesome, but it wasn't bad. It was very, very middle of the line. Uh, not a lot of stuff that, you know, blatantly just took me out of the movie. So I appreciated that. Uh, I thought there was way too much humans in it. I th they could have cut down the human parts by a lot and I, th I probably would have enjoyed it more, but overall it wasn't bad and that's no jarring moments that just take you completely out of the movie. Not saying there wasn't plot holes cause there's several plot holes when you're watching it, but overall it's worth a watch. It was an entertaining popcorn movie. It scratched the itch. So overall not bad. Anyway, Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Although there aren't too many left. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs>